fishing for turtle and eight inch drum. I'm gonna catch about 20 eight inch drum and mount them all over my house down the hallway. That way when I have guests, they're real astonished. And they go, wow, where'd you get that? Damn, this is the first time I've ever brought my phone down to the water. Like, I never bring my phone. I'd say in front of that fin, yeah, or a little that, that way, a little more, like, no, right there, yeah. I'm gonna put my phone in the beach bag. All right, I'm gonna try for the white bass real quick. <coughs> I cast along the rapids to get them. I, I usually get one every time I come. They're giant, too. <laughs> I'd let him take it a while, too, though. If that's a fish, it's acting like a flathead. Oh my God! Yeah! You got it? Hell yeah! That's probably a flathead by the way it's act, by the way it pulled your pole straight down. When you, what you want to do when you're reeling these in, hold your pole way up high and get them off the bottom. So you don't get, cause I got hung up reeling one in. Hell yeah. I gotta get more poles out, I guess. I might walk down there and set one or two poles on them rocks where I can run down if I get one. And one up here. That ain't a bad one. Flathead. Hell, it's already time to get the stringer out. <laughs> Ain't bad. Swallowed it, didn't it? Might be able to get with pliers, though. He's about a pound and a half, two pounds. I don't know, I can weigh it, but that's still. Yeah. <laughs> I love their heads. Camera. That's freaking awesome. I just hit the white thing right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, but they got, it'll cut you, not bad, but it'll rub your skin raw. There you go, yeah. Okay, and I'll do one sideways or something. There we go. I'm gonna, oh, oh, you gotta hit right there. I'm gonna zoom in on the camera too. I already, I just, I got it on. I just got to zoom. Here you go. I'll do this. All right, we've been here about 20 minutes, but we really just started getting everything out. We're already on to our first flathead. It's a smaller guy, but it's a, that's a promising thing showing they're biting. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna start getting more poles out and trying harder. Cause I've been kind of messing around throwing lure. I guess I'll get the stringer, right? Yeah, got it. It's small. It's only like a pound. It's a little tiny channel cat, I think. Yeah, about a pound. Boy, it, the way he pulled my pole had me fooled. I thought he was at least a five or six pounder. Man. Boy, you had me fooled, buddy. Yeah, cir the circle hook. I just ended up putting a worm about eight inches above a little eighth ounce weight on the bottom and just kind of jigging it around in this little hole here. Catching panfish. I caught four bluegills so far. Now this pretty long ear here. Pretty little guy. Just hoping I get the accidental six pound both in or a big channel pad of full head or something. Something different. Maybe a red ear, four mile. You just never know in this place. A 
Lots of fish right here. You're missing them. All right, folks, another long ear. Not a bad one. Same as earlier. Red ear. Yes. All right, folks, I just got a red-eared sunfish out of here. That's my second one I've caught out of this river. I was always one, oh darn, I was always wondering if there was more of them, there's my answer. They are in here, there just ain't very many. Awesome. I'm hooked into a big old buffalo here, right in the rapids. I think I got it hooked in the side and it's in the swift currents making it really difficult. No, I got him hooked in the mouth. Yeah, I got him hooked in the mouth. It's a nice one. I'll go through all four of my crankbaits, but that's what I gotta do. Man, I think my lure might be too big. Oh, okay. <coughs> I'm glad I got 25 pound line on here. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting him over now. Now he ain't moving at all. Come on, lazy. Okay, now is this a black buffalo? It's got the mouth completely on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Huh. All right, folks, I got this fish in. Let's get him up. I ain't got teeth. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh. Well, my. Hey! I, I, I need to invest in a dip net. I keep saying that takes away the fun, but those times you do need one. You can't grab them by the dang mouth. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying not to get hooked, though. My dang. I hooked him right in the eye. Yeah, most of Buffalo won't legitimately <sighs> Oh, he's about 10 pounds, isn't he? Yeah, I think that is a black buffalo there. That's oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, them big lips like that. Definitely yeah, black Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Dang, I got my pliers all the way down there. Okay. I'll hold it for the camera once you're done. I didn't even have my camera on until I hooked him, then I hurried up. <coughs> this is what I came here for, them and white bass. That lure might be a little too much for the whites, though. I mean, maybe if they're real hungry, they'll hit it, but a little overboard. Oh, okay. Yeah. More tall. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, all right, folks. I'm gonna get a good view of this black buffalo. Let's take a picture of you real quick with my phone. Or you can just take the camera off my head. It's already on, and right. you can just you can kind of it'll show what's on the screen probably. Right on. Showing it. Yep. It's showing. Actually. Yep. It's a nice black buffalo, dude. Yeah. We're gonna let her go. Yeah, look at that mouth. <laughs> this might be the biggest one I've caught of these. I don't right. know, I caught a lot of them out of the Mississippi when I was younger. Yeah, but... there's some in Duck Creek over there, dude. 50, 60, 70 pounds. Yeah. Giants. I seen a, I got the new conservation magazine in the mail yesterday. Yeah. It said the... There we go. Oh yeah. 
Man, if that's a white bass, it's a big one. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know. Still can't see it. Come on. No, there's no way this is a white. <laughs> It'd have to be about five pounds. <laughs> I think it's a buffalo. Yeah, it's black. Oh, I snagged him in the fin. <laughs> That's a large mouth. What the hell? Or a spotted bass. Actually, I do on this one. I need to take it off, but my pliers are way down there. Yeah, it's a, it's a spot. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. That's a, no, that might be a large mouth. It's hard to tell. I don't see a white belly, though. Small mouth, though. It's a spotted bass. It's got the white lines. It's a white, uh, I mean, a spotted. All right. He's about... Two pounds, though. Well, as he felt real big, and I had him hooked where I did. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Anybody got any needle nose? Mine are, mine are way down there. <laughs> yeah. Damn drum. God, really? The worst of the worst. <laughs> Will you please bring my pliers up here? God. Oh. My battery goes dead, then I'll have to go down there and get a dang battery. Yep. One, two. My God. Because of that comb or that rock. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Heck yeah. <laughs> I got my first white bass of the day in the swift waters. These guys below me have caught about 20 or 30 of them. Ah! God damn! <clears throat> Small to keep, about 10 inches. 